What's up guys, it's your boy in the Bay Boom, and I am back for another video in Avatar The Last Airbender. We all love the show, and I just wanted to bring up some episodes I think they could have done in the show, and we missed out on. But, before I get into the video, I want to bring up the rules for this. So, the concept they kind of brought up in the show, that they were teasing, that they were going to bring up in another season of the show, like uh, Zula's Redemption, and... The finding Zuko's mom stuff. I'm not bringing that up. I'm tired of talking about that. And I just want to talk about episodes people don't really talk about. And that they were never going to bring up in the future. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about it. So starting it off, I want to talk about Toph and Zuko getting an episode, their own trip. Toph and Zuko should have gotten their own trip in season three. Every other character got an episode, so why can't Toph get one? Toph kind of got sidelined later on in Season 3 while the other characters got to do stuff. And I think that kind of sucks. Suko and Toph kind of had a trip episode. That wasn't no trip. That was like a three-second clip where Zuko didn't want to listen to Toph's sad backstory. Give them an episode where Toph wants to go do something. Go do something fun. It ain't got to be her parents or anything, because we've seen that story a lot. Katara and Toph basically resolved at that they sent a message to the parents and that was the end of the storyline i don't want to see zuko have to go across the world to help Toph figure out stuff with her parents it could be something normal like a, some town or something but um yeah that's what i think number five is i just love Toph and zuko and those zuko episodes were just really fun every zuko episode was just really fun and so adding Toph onto that would just make it even better so yes Zuko and Toph are my number five on the list. So, the next one, number four. Number four on my list, Iroh needs a episode. Iroh, man, the development, he went from a evil guy in the Fire Nation, about to become the Fire Lord. He about to uh, take over Ba Sing Se, making jokes about burning it to the ground. And then we could see the storyline with him getting his son killed, and him going through a depression. It's not like he had to go through the same journey Zuko went through. So I would love to see that journey and how he became the wise, good guy that he is in uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. I think that could be a fire episode. You can do the part where he goes to the library and does stuff with the owl, and then you can do the scene where he goes to talk to the dragon. This could be a two-parter episode on Iroh's life we just don't know much about they told us sort of but I would like to see some of those moments too it could be even more than that tell us some show us some stuff about Iroh's life and his relationship with Ozai I don't think Ozai and Iroh interacted one time throughout the show I know Iroh's a little bit older than Ozai so maybe they weren't around each other like that but I still would like to see o Iroh and Ozai like, as future generals talking to each other, and Iroh being a little bit evil. I want to see e evil Iroh. I know it's going to be funny, so... Yes, I think that that is definitely number four, and Iroh's... Any episode Iroh's in, helping Zuko, the Tales of Bossing Say episode. I was mad they took him out of season three a lot of the time. They took him out of season three. I know the actor, the voice actor passed away, but... They got a new voice actor, and I think he could have carried on like Iroh's legacy and did an episode like that so yes the Iroh episode is my number four because I just love to see Iroh but number three let's get to number three team Avatar needs a going to a random town episode in season three with Zuko we did not get a episode where Zuko goes to a random town and saves people I think that would have been a funny episode it could be a good storyline man you dress they dress season one they got a lot they got away with going to towns all the time and then people didn't know uh like uh, what the avatar was doing and stuff they didn't know it was the avatar they got away with it a lot so i think it'd be funny to see them maybe put some makeup on zuko and cover up his scar and zuko's just hanging around the village doing funny stuff and protecting the villagers and stuff. Then you can see Zuko, you know, get caught out by one of the Fire Nation people. And then you get cool scenes like that. But people might be like, you know, the, they gonna recognize all of them by this point. It's too deep into the story. They know what all of them look like. But 
man, season one was getting away with it a lot. They kept showing Aang and them going to villages doing funny stuff. Nobody snitched on them, and they just kept getting away with it. So, if season two got away with it, I think season three can get away with it too. Do an episode, Zuko goes to a village with Aang. He actually has to save people this time instead of uh, hurting everybody and trying to capture the Avatar all the time. Maybe it could be a village Zuko's went to before, and then he has to make up for doing something to that village and prove that he has changed and he's trying to do the right thing. And maybe he's doing it as a new guy. Maybe he's like a Lee. Because I know they called him Lee in one episode. Maybe he can go by Lee and save a village on the episode. I just think it'll be a hilarious episode. And Zuko learns the lesson. And then it builds up to him eventually becoming the Fire Lord, becoming a good person, joining Aang, and being a member of Team Avatar. I would love to see that episode. So that's my number three so let's go to number two this is an episode people talk about and they were never going to bring it back up i see they might bring it back up in a live action show but uh nobody expected them to do that but let's talk about it the souls is comet the original souls is comet i want to see a full episode of souls in just tripping on the, he was tripping and i always said i made a video about it he should have been Aang's rival, not Ozai. I, I prefer Sozin because he's the one that hurt Aang so bad. The Fire Nation and Sozin hurt Aang so bad. So I would have loved to see something with Sozin. Him going to take down the uh, airbenders. And we see one shot of it in that one episode with Roku and Sozin's backstory where you see the temples burn down. That's scary. But I would love to see a full episode of that. Monkey Yatsa killing some Fire Nation and... Souls in just that big attack on the airbenders, man. It would be a, a crazy scene and how they got to certain temples and them looking for Aang and Souls in just being scary the whole episode. It would just be amazing, man. The flaws of it is that they kind of told us everything. You know, Mugiato got killed in that room. He probably suffocated all the airbenders and souls in we've seen ozai use that burning attack so souls in probably used the same burning attack on those temples and we, we kind of see most of it and they don't find ang it'll be just a cool uh scene and a cool moment and really sad and it could be a maybe a two-part episode make somebody else the main character make monkey also the main character Maybe you could uh, show Aang before he left or Monkey Yatso, what Monkey Yatso did right after Aang left. It will just be fun. How, what's the gap between Aang going to the iceberg and Souls and attacking the airbenders temple? So, I think that's my number two. So, let's go to the number one episode. I would love to see that. I think we were never going to get any um information about what well, we kind of did in core. I, we kind of did in core, but... Uh, they didn't explain the this enough in the original Avatar. The Lion Turtles. I feel like we needed we needed a Lion Turtles episode. We did an episode on the Sun Warriors, a legendary Fire Nation group that existed for a long time. I feel like there could have been a group for the Lion Turtles. And it would build up better to Aang's eventual Lion Turtle moment at the end with him erasing uh Ozai's bending because I just seen it's just like so he just they gave him this plot device and made it to where he was able to beat Ozai and he never had to kill Ozai he didn't have to come to that conclusion himself he got helped by this random turtle from the water and Aang randomly went to this island and met the turtle it was such a weird scene and I think this epi that episode if they did an episode like that could explain everything that we need to know about the lion turtle and then seeing what angle just make more sense so that's my top five list i think those are episodes i would have loved to see in avatar the last airbender i feel like each one has something that's like interesting Toph zuko built their relationship we get an episode with them the iroh episode i want to see more of iroh's life before and his downfall and then his the way he rised up uh, Avatar is going to Av Team Avatar going to a different town, and Zuko has to help the villagers build up to his redemption. And then, um, Sozin's comment episode, you see the Airbenders get taken out. We don't see much of that, so I want to see that. And then you get the Lion Turtle episode. 
it builds up to Aang beating Ozai with the lion turtle. So I just would love to see all these episodes. But tell me how y'all feel about it. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Anime Boom Out. Peace. Thank you.